Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today we got a bunch of stuff to look at, which I suspect is going to be very, very, very popular indeed. Let's start off with a Garchomp play match, shall we? Because there's a thing going on, right? With Pokemon at the moment, playmats don't tend to stay in stock very much. Playmats tend to sell out pretty gosh darn quickly because the playmats are awesome and they're generally high quality and they're generally beautiful. There was a little while ago, and Pokemon seem to have stopped doing this luckily, but there was a thing a little while ago where all of the playmats were actually being sold on a lottery system. You couldn't just go and buy the playmats, you literally had to enter a lottery to get the chance to go and buy the playmat. Now, thankfully, that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. For the last couple of playmats, even a Charizard one I showed you the other day, that did actually go up as just a regular order. And to be fair, I did see it a couple of times heading around Japan when I was over there for the World Championships. However, it wasn't in every Pokemon Center. And when it was in Pokemon Centers, it generally didn't tend to stay around all that long. There was a couple of times I'd go to a Pokemon Center and they had it. And then I'd go back a couple of days later and it was gone. People like the playmats. But not all playmats are created equally. Obviously, the Charizard one, very popular Pokemon. Everybody loves it. Garchomp, I think we're pretty much in that kind of territory. And I'm not saying that Garchomp is the same as Charizard or any of that rubbish. But I absolutely am saying that we are... I mean, come on. It's Garchomp. Everybody loves Garchomp. One of the most popular Pokemon. Of course, it is fair to ask the question, why is Garchomp getting the love? It's because of Raging Surf. Obviously, Garchomp is... It, it's either the poster child of Raging Surf... Or one of the two poster children, because you also then have to bear in mind Goldengo. And it's really kind of the pair of them. But make no mistake about it, this is a very popular Pokemon. There's a reason it's being featured in the set. And there's a reason why it's getting some love here. And I know I've put the Oswaldo Kato Special Illustration Rare on the screen here. Not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. It's awesome. As for this particular playmat, it is retailing for the general playmat price, which is to say 2,970 yen, not 3,000 yen. Might, might as well be, frankly, <laughs> but not quite. And that comes around somewhere in the region of around about $20 or somewhere in the region of £16. The exchange rate from yen to pounds has been great lately. That was a, a big bonus when I was over there. Now, as well as a playmat, we also get sleeves, again, featuring your water-type Terra Garchomp, no surprise here. And these are premium gloss sleeves. What that means is they are a little fancier than your average sleeves, and they are a little more expensive. 990 yen comes out at $6.80 in the US, or at £5.40 over here in the UK. But it's Garchomp and it's Water Terra Garchomp. And this is kind of cool, right? Because we're going to get Garchomp stuff again in the future. How much Water Terra Garchomp are we going to get in the future? I would suggest maybe not that much. And then the ridiculously cheap deck box. The deck box comes in at 500 yen. I've been telling you for years at this point, these deck boxes are ridiculously cheap. It remains so here. We are talking about $3.40 or £2.70. For a pretty gosh darn cool deck box, this is awesome. Now, in terms of Raging Surf, I told you the other main Pokemon is Goldengo. And that's the other one that gets the love. We've got premium gloss sleeves. And as a side note, all the sleeves we're talking about today are premium gloss, which is interesting. Of Goldengo. And look, I, I tend to put sleeves in a couple of different camps. I rarely look at sleeves and go, they're garbage, I'm not buying them. But it is fair to say that sometimes I, I look at the sleeves and I think, oh, they're kind of cool. And sometimes I look at the sleeves and I'm like, I must have them. That's where I am with this. These are amongst the coolest sleeves we've seen. They are absolutely stunning. And look, it's black background, gold drawing, makes sense, gold engo and all of that. 
but it's just beautiful. And look, it's got Goldengo and it's got Gimme Ghoul and obviously that's kind of lovely because of the whole, you know, everyone loves Goldengo thing. But my word, these are extremely cool. I am gigantic gigantic fan of these i very much want to be picking these up so hopefully i'll get to put a pokemon center order in in the not too distant future and when i do oh you better believe these are going to be on there ladies and gentlemen because these are awesome oh yeah but there's a deck box as well i could be wrong but i think this deck box is going to be a pain this is one again I order from the Pokemon Center quite a bit. The frequency changes on various things. This is the kind of deck box where I think I'm going to have to find an excuse. There's Halloween stuff out. Maybe I'll go buy some Halloween stuff. I just don't expect this one to last. This is... And we don't see these deck boxes all that often. They don't come around all the time. They, it, It's really sporadic. Whereas we get kind of a play mat or two every set, and we get multiple sleeves and deck boxes with the release of every set. That is not the case with these kind of, these fancy deck boxes. Now, the cheap deck boxes, like the Garchomp one, yeah, we see them all the time. But these fancy, like, faux leather ones, oh, no, no, no. The, these are far rarer, and it's absolutely stunning. Now, it is retailing for 2,200 yen, which, to be fair, is quite a lot for a deck box. We're talking $15 pretty much exactly, or £12 literally exactly. As I recall this, £12, zero pence. Yeah, I'll pay 12 quid for that. That is absolutely redonk. But there are a couple of other things coming as well, and they're not related to Raging Surf. So we've got the Skeledurge and Mewtwo decks, which are coming around. And oh, look. We've got some Skeledurge and Mewtwo stuff coming. Not a coincidence, incidentally, ladies and gentlemen. Not a coincidence. So Skeledurge, we've got ourselves sleeves, and we've got ourselves a deck box. We don't need to talk through prices. We've already done that. It's the same as the ones we saw a moment ago. The thing is, this is your Terra Skeledurge. This is your metal-type Terra Skeledurge. I love me some Skeledurge, and I've been very unashamed about this. Like, really, I love me some Fue Coco. But, I'll, you know, if you're going to be loving some Fue Coco, you know, don't just love him as a basic. Love him as a stage two as well. Love all forms of Fue Coco. And, yeah, I'm not sure how good the metal one is going to be from those data decks. We're going to have to wait and see later. I want it to be good. We'll have to <laughs> wait and see how lucky I get with that one. But we got ourselves sleeves and a deck box here featuring your Skeledurge. And these are absolutely stunning. These again, but because of my love of Fue Coco and therefore Skeledurge, I think these are again ones I'm going to have to pick up. Of course, there is a question. Like, if, if you're playing, I want an answer to this in the comment section. So everybody, answer this in the comment section, right? If you're playing a Fire Skeledurge deck, are you happy playing with Metal Skeledurge sleeves and deck box? Or does it have to be the fire type? I'd love to know how you come down on that. For me, the Pokemon is more important, but I can understand how some people would look at that and be like, no, nah, mate, if it's not the right typing, I have no interest in the sleeves. Oh, while we're here, Mewtwo. Yeah, that's right. We've got a Terra Mewtwo, a lightning type Terra Mewtwo, which is coming along as well in another starter deck. And that means that we've got ourselves sleeves and a deck box here as well. Exactly the same price as we saw from the Garchomp and from the Skeledurge. But hey, now they're featuring Mewtwo. Once again, like we saw a moment ago, we are not talking about your ordinary everyday run-of-the-mill Mewtwo. We are talking about your Lightning Terror type Mewtwo, which... I'm, I'm kind of coming around on that one. I think it could end up being quite a good card. I understand why everybody doesn't think it's going to be amazing. But I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I, I feel like I could get on board with that one. Kind of as a, as a concept of just being an awesome card. So, if you like Mewtwo. But then again, we've got that same kind of question. If you love your Mewtwo, is it enough to have your Lightning Terror type Mewtwo... Or do you have to have your old school traditional Mewtwo being represented? Genuinely would like an answer to that. I would love to hear where everybody comes down. For me personally, I love the Skeledurge stuff, but it's the Goldengo. 
And I realized me and Goldengo, and it's been my, my boy. When we've been going through all of the raids, Goldengo has been my go-to. And seriously, Goldengo is so good for doing raids. So look, I know I'm a little bit biased here, but oh my, and the, the EX is just proper job, flat out stunning. But I really, really, really want this Goldengo stuff. But I want to hear from you guys. I want to know which of this stuff you love. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and ooh, all kinds of other stuff. Other card games, other Pokemon games, NFL, because that's kicked off now. All kinds of fun things. And do please consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. And get shout-outs on the channel like the lovely Dojo, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout-out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far, the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.